to mention that we are seeds right now. Yes, we are seeds. We are arriving here in a mail truck because someone else threw us. And now we're arriving at Southern Exposure to go on the rest of our little mission in life, which involves being put into a packet and sent out to lovely customers who will plant us in their gardens. As little seeds, we arrive. And at first, someone takes us and puts us in a container with a label saying what we are. It doesn't put us into packets yet. And then the container is placed into this trailer. Depending on what we are, we might go into the freezer and stay there, or we might go into the freezer for a week or two to kill all of our bugs. In case any bugs decided to hitch a ride on us, the freezer will murder those bugs. We want to open the freezer in the back. Just yank on it. It's very cold in the freezer. Wow. It's very cold. And if you are a human that lives at Acorn, you might want to go into that freezer on a day when you are very hot so that you appreciate being hot again. But yeah, there's lots of seeds inside. So many. I want to be a seed. Then people say, these seeds must go into packets. They must go to customers. And there are two ways that we could get put into a packet. One way that we could be put into a packet is with the robot, the mysterious seed robot. Come in, come in. Seed pack 2000. <laughs> yes, welcome to the seed room. You pour your seeds into this hopper. You get them into the hopper, and you also start the air compressor, which is in a closet behind us. And then you turn this on. And Looking at this, you make some guesses, you put some numbers in, you go do 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 do, and then you hit go. And then it goes and it has these little suction cups that open up the packet and then they drop the little seeds inside and then it closes the packet and then it goes slam, 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 and then it drops out a packet. It's all nicely crushed together. And so you let it go and then you hit stop. And then you weigh the packets and you say, no, that's not right at all. And then you go, and then it goes, and then you weigh them again, and you will say, no, it was too much, and now it is too little. And then you do this until either you go crazy and try and get someone else to do it, or until it works. Let's set the robot back how it was before I got here. Do do, very gentle. We print things onto the packet tell you what's going to be there. This printer is specially designed for printing packets. Right now, the packets are empty. In this jar is a bunch of sage seed. Each of these packets, it says, should contain 0.33 grams of sage seed. And over here we have scales. And you just combine all of these things until all of the packets are full. Hopefully while listening to your favorite audiobook, because this is extremely boring. But it is less frustrating than the robot, so there are always trade-offs. Once all the seeds are in the packet, they go to the room of the packets, also known as the picking room, where we pick the orders. Welcome to the nice air-conditioned room, dehumidified, everything oh. you want in a room, <laughs> indeed, want. and filled with seeds. I have worked on farms where I have been like, you know, planting out the very last of my collard seeds, being like, oh no, if these ones don't do it, I'm gonna have to like buy more seeds and wait two weeks until I have them. But no, at this farm I say, oh look, we're running out of seeds. Let's go get more. They're here. All the seeds I would ever want to plant and more. Can you show me what seeds you have? We have so many seeds. These are our cover crops. They have their very big packets of seed. If you wanted lots of buckwheat, we have lots of buckwheat for you. We have rye for you. We even have buckwheat in smaller sizes and rye in smaller sizes. Is this for production organic? Not everything in here is organic. If you look through our catalog, things that say OG are organic. The things you produce here. Yes, so our gardens are certified organic. These are flowers. Sunflowers are here, and then we go to beans. Fava beans, and then soybeans, and then snack beans of various kinds. There's pole beans, and not pole beans, bush beans. And oh, and then there's peas. Peas, 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 snap peas. 
peas, shelling peas, snow peas, southern peas. We specialize in southern peas, like we have so many southern peas, and you probably don't know what they are, but they're great. Over here we have peanuts. And then we get into brassicas, kale, mustard greens, radishes. And then we have beets, and chard, and rhubarb, and carrots. These are peppers. All of these are peppers. Tomatillos and ground cherries, and then tomatoes start here and go here, and here, here. All of these are tomatoes. Cucumbers and squashes, summer squashes and winter squashes, watermelons, and then lettuce, 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 onions, spinach, okra, herbs, and some weird mixed things like the Virginia Heritage Seed Collection. This Arkansas green lint cotton was grown and harvested by Sochal, who lives here. And Sochal then sat in their room and pulled the cotton fluff off of the cotton seeds, and then Sochal put the cotton into these packets. And at the end, Sochal felt extremely proud of themselves. <laughs> As they should. That's amazing. Yeah. So there's actually one more step in the journey of the seed. The seeds in their packets need to go from acorn to you. If you want to get your hands on some southern exposure seeds, one way that you can do it is to head on over to our Patreon page. One of our reward tiers features regular shipments of southern exposure seeds to your door. So the FEC is an income sharing network and that means that we run income sharing businesses. Commune Life is one of those businesses. We share all of our Patreon revenue with the communities that we live in and we use some of that revenue to buy seeds from Southern Exposure and send them to you. And the money that Southern Exposure makes in turn goes to support all of the communards that live at Acorn. So the FEC has its own little tight-knit sharing economy and it's one of the most amazing things about living in community and it's enabled by your support. So thanks for watching, there will be more videos very very soon, and I will see you in the next one.